Hey guys, welcome to my new series on Python, uh, the Python programming language. It's a language that I'm a big fan of, love the syntax, love how easy it is to use, love how much uh, functionality you get with the language right out of the box. Uh, the libraries are extensive, massive, contain so much to help you make your life uh, easier. Um, so I've been looking forward to doing this series for a long time, I'm really happy to get, get started with it, okay? So in this first video, we just got to get started. We got to get the basics. So I'm going to show you what you need to download, and I'm going to show you how to write your first, you know, little hello world program. Um, and we're going to use the IDE that ships with the language, I guess you could say. And that IDE is called Idle. Right. As the series goes on, we'll be looking at all the different you know, features. We'll have a good introduction. To the language, we'll get all the different operators, some functions, write some classes, maybe do some GUI stuff, right? Just uh, have some fun with the language and see how easy it is really to to learn. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to download the Python package, if you will. So if you go to python.org, right? Python.org, you'll get this page here. Okay, we want to go to downloads, and the browser should auto detect the operating system that you're currently using. Um, and for me, I'm using Windows 10, so awesome. I want to use the latest version of Python 3.5.2, so I'm going to click on that and download that. Okay, download that to my desktop. Okay, and broadband's great. Didn't take that long, didn't have to wait that long. So let's go ahead and run the installer. Okay, and I want to add Python 3.5 to my path. I suggest that you click that too. That's going to allow us to compile stuff and run Python scripts uh, from the command line easier, right? So go ahead and click that. We install now. Let's go ahead and install the default and the default location. Why not? Right? That's going to go by pretty fast. And uh, once that's finished, we'll set up or we'll start, we'll run um, idle and we'll run a quick little Hello World program, right? We're going to get done really, really fast. It's going to be really quick because it's just that easy to start with Python, right? It can be a lot shorter than my Visual Studio uh, introduction video that I did, okay? So setup was successful. Excellent. So let's go ahead and close that and go to our Start menu, right? And we want to run idle Python, right? 3.5, 32-bit. So let's go ahead and click that. And that's going to start the IDE, right? Well, the shell, right? But you're going to see that it's the shell is, is with, with Python, you're able to um, interact with the language without actually having to compile stuff, right? But let's save that for a future video, okay? Right now, what I want to do is I want to create a new file, okay? And that new file is going to be my first program, my Hello World program. Okay, so let's save this, you know, let's save it, give it a name, okay, and I'll just save it to my desktop, and we'll call this, uh, this uh, file hello.py, right, py for Python extension, right, C cpp for C++, py for Python, go ahead and click save, okay, now, <clears throat> Python programs, different than C++ or other compiled languages, uh, even different from Java, which is, you know, compile once, run anywhere. Um, basically with this, what we have is we have a command interpreter, which is similar to like a Java virtual machine, I guess you could say, um, except for we're not gonna actually have to compile into bytecode or anything like that. What's gonna happen is, is we're just gonna type in our list of commands here, and then we'll just go up here and we'll say, you know, run the module, right? And Python programs, the scripts, they're often referred to, or usually referred to as modules. So what you do is you just write your commands in here, Right, from the language, um, you know, use your if statements, while statements, for loops, all that kind of stuff. And um, then we'll just go up in here and we'll say uh, run the module, okay? So we're gonna do hello world, just to get started. Again, nice thing about Python is you just can get in and start programming, right? If this was C++, I'd have to do a bunch of pound includes, have to set up int main and all that kind of stuff, right? When we talk about functions, we'll get into that, okay? But for right now, I'm just gonna print hello world to the console. How do I do that? I use the print function, right? It's nice because with Python, everything is just so explicit and in your face and it's like, here's what it is, duh, right? It's so, it's, it's really easy to use. So 
I'm going to make a hello world program. Okay, and comments in Python's are the pound sign. Right, it's not forward slashes; it's pound. So uh, this is going to be um, our little hello.py program, and this is just going to say hello world. Right? Hello world to the console. Okay. So I'm going to use the print function to do that. Okay. Use print to do that. Okay. And then inside of here, it's a it's a function. Print is a function, right? So we're just going to specify you know, what we want to say. We're going to have a string literal in here. And we're just going to say, hello, world. Okay. And um, save it. And we're ready to run this, this module, right? Now, Python, no semicolons. Kind of weird, right? C++ or Java or languages like that, we put a semicolon at the end of here, uh, at the end of this line. Nope. No semicolons in Python. You just type what you want to do. Okay, so I want to say hello world to the world. And now I want to run this thing. Okay, so I'll select run module. And then here's the shell, Python shell. Here's our console. Right? If we were doing C++ command line compiling, we'd be at a command prompt or something like that. Well, here's the shell um, that allows us to interact with the, the program directly, right? And, um, or with the Python interpreter, I should say, directly. Okay. Well, I ran my module, hello world, there we go. Now, an interesting thing to note is that in Python, right, there's different ways you can close your string, right? Right here, I use double quotes, okay? But single quotes mean the same thing, right? So I can replace those with single quotes, okay? And then I can run the module, hello world, there we go. Really nice because you know in C or other languages like that, you know, single quotes is only for characters. Well, in Python, right, single quotes, double quotes, I you know, mean the same thing. Okay, now let me show you one last thing, and we'll wrap this video up. Right? I just want to do a quick quick little intro video to get you started. Okay. Let us create a variable, right? Let's say um, x, right? And then we'll assign to that variable a string. Hello, right? There's an assignment statement. Named a variable x, assigned hello to it, right? No data types, right? There's no, well, I mean, there's data types, but I mean, but I mean, we're not gonna have to say int x or double d or anything like that. We just make a variable name and then assign a value to it, right? Then I could say y equals world, right? Okay. And then I can go in and then I can print this stuff. Print x, y, right? Now print's function going to pass as arguments to this print function x and y. Right? So now when I go to run this module, right, what do I got? There's my hello world from the first print statement. And then there's the hello world from this right here. Okay? Now let me show you one last thing which is kind of which is kind of cool. Right? What if I want to reassign to x a different value? Right? Look at that. x equals 15. Right? Print x. This is awesome, right? Python is a weakly typed programming language, which means that I can assign a string to x on one line, and then I can reuse that same variable for an integer, right? And it's gonna work just fine, okay? So there I'm printing everything out, ran the module. There's my first couple of hello worlds, and there's my, there's my 15. Very, very, very nice, right? I mean, if it was C++, I'd have to have two different variables typed, right? One for strings and one for integers. Here, this is so much easier to use, right? I want to use X for something else, so I'll just use X for something else, right? No big deal. Okay, anyway, so it's my brief little video about Python here. I just wanted to show you how to download uh, Idle, the IDE, which is what I used right here, and create a low world program, and then with heck, it was so short, I decided I would show you a variable and how to use this print function. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. In future videos, we'll be going into more depth. Like I said, we'll be going into um, uh, using variables more. We'll use different operators, arithmetic, logical operators. We'll look at different loops, um, different decision structures, right? some functions, and uh, some classes, and maybe some GUI stuff. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. If you think this video was helpful, I would really appreciate if you could leave me some comments, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, also, Feel free to hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.